start the proceedings. I want to thank Police Commissioner O'Shea for taking time out of his very busy schedule uh, to celebrate a great day. This is a collaboration between the Police Athletic League and the New York City Police Department that's been going on for, my, by my count, over 75 years. And today we have a, the great privilege and honor to celebrate uh, this year's winner of the Police Commissioner for a Day essay contest. Your last name, name, but Olivia Ruriani um, is our winner this year. Uh, thanks, thanks, Fred. And Fred, I, I've been to this ceremony a number of times in one police plaza with uh, Commissioner O'Neill before me, Commissioner Bratton, yourself, certainly, and never, right, did we envision doing it on the Zoom conference, but, <laughs> but here we are. Olivia, um, first and foremost, congratulations to you and your family. As Fred mentioned, um, the vetting process here, you have so much to be proud of, you and your family, certainly teachers, because there was some stiff competition for this year. But uh, congratulations to you, to, uh, to Olivia's teacher, Ms. Chickaly, and I hope I got the pronunciation correct on that, and the Principal Goldfarb, excellent, <laughs> of New Utrecht High School. I, I have to admit that the PC for a Day contest um, is always one of my favorite days of the year, certainly as the police commissioner, and it's my first one this time. The event draws people from all walks of life, from all neighborhoods across the five boroughs. It gets kids interested in writing and also serious policy issues, and certainly that's the case today. And it reminds us of how much work goes into keeping everyone safe in this city. Also, it also helps get the youth of New York City thinking about maybe what kind of careers they might consider. And I hope that many down the line uh, keeps it open the option of being in law enforcement in some way, shape or form. This year, the entrance weighed in on a question that speaks to one of our most fundamental goals in the NYPD, and that's about keeping the community safe. It's about community trust and strengthening relationships with all New Yorkers that we serve. The question that we asked was, given the religious diversity of our city, how would you as police commissioner for a day reduce the apparent rising number of biased crimes against religious communities? The city of New York has a distinctive religious diversity. There is a major diversity of faith, and I feel that everyone's beliefs should be respected, although others do disagree with me. Not only do they disrespect other people's religious beliefs, but they perform violent, biased crimes against religious communities. As police commissioner for a day, I would do everything I possibly can to reduce the biased crimes against religious communities. Three things that I would do as police commissioner are support the victims, create a teaching acceptance program, and speak up. Often, victims of hate or bias crimes feel alone and afraid. This is because they were attacked simply for being themselves. Victims need a strong, timely message to show that they are valued and that they mean something. As police commissioner, I would gather other police forces to start a special unit rally as a way to let the people of the communities know that they are not alone. A unity rally would draw media attention away from hate and would be spreading positivity and love. Uh, you wrote a fantastic essay, and I, we think it's great. It's also extremely important throughout the years and the decades that the community and the NYPD work closely together in a variety of ways. And this is a great example where Police Commissioner Shea has continued um, this commitment to the community um, with the help of uh, the Police Athletic League to find good and better ways to collaborate with young people, and we think we've done that. And we also have gotten some great ideas about how maybe we can police a little different, a little better, and Olivia came up with such a great idea um, that you earned you the winner. So again, we're grateful to the NYPD, we're grateful to Police Commissioner uh, Shea, and we really celebrate Olivia and her family for a job well done. So thank you. Very